but it was this idea that oh like you can actually be really pretty without makeup hey there my handsome and pretty little cobras and welcome back to the cobras nest for those of you who are new my name is mignon cobra and i make minimalism videos so today's video it's going to be about makeup i had a subscriber recently asked me if i could do a updated makeup routine video i haven't done these i think like in over a year so i thought it was well due so thank you so much for the subscriber for the request and without further ado let's just get into the video let's get it let's go Ooh. So today is just gonna be like a get ready with me. I'm gonna be doing my very like simple makeup. You guys know that I actually don't own a lot of makeup. All of it is more or less just fit in this like little bag. I did makeup rehab past couple years and I've also done a low buy in 2020 and then a no buy last year. And it's kind of more or less extended into this year. I feel like I have a much healthier relationship with makeup and that's something I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about how like where I'm at with my relationship with makeup and things that I think could help anybody else out because as much as I love makeup and I still do love makeup, there's a lot of things that have changed i think primarily for me one of the things is i actually don't wear a lot of makeup in my day to day i do wear makeup for my videos just because i think it looks better or aesthetic on camera but in my own personal life and if you follow me on instagram which is probably closer to my daily life i actually don't really wear much makeup and it's been really freeing and you're probably wondering how did that happen given that i love makeup and i love wearing it every day i recently got into the it girl trend if you've seen some of my recent videos like i do like my march reset and as i watched those videos i saw that some of those girls wore like no makeup and they look really pretty and that is what shifted my mentality was that like oh like you can actually be really pretty without makeup after I, I i don't know i came to that realization and this is just my own personal journey i know that makeup is like a very touchy subject i never want to come across and say that my thought is the the thought but you know i guess that conclusion right i had that thought and it was really freeing for me because i kind of felt less obligated to buy makeup and you know we're really close me and my little cobra crew that's one of the blessings of being a smaller youtube channel i feel like i have more freedom to speak my true thoughts and for me i've been recently feeling really pretty without makeup. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. I don't know if that'll come off as very arrogant because I guess in some ways society picks if you're pretty or not. You don't get to pick if you're pretty. But for me, in my own quiet thoughts in the back of my mind, when I'd pass Sephora, I would think to myself, like, I'm actually really pretty. I don't really need to go to Sephora. And that has helped me a lot tremendously with my own self-confidence and my relationship with makeup and I guess financially too, you know, not spending as much money on makeup because if you guys know, I like buying high-end makeup. So not feeling that obligation has really helped a lot. So I just wanted to share that with you guys as to why my makeup has not grown. I don't have anything new. The last makeup pieces that I picked up were those last two lipsticks that I bought on Black Friday. So that was like last year. All right, so yeah, let's get into the makeup. I did my skincare. A subscriber was like, uh, yeah, but like, what do you actually use? And I'm, and I'm being honest, guys, I really don't use much skincare. I'm a firm believer that your skin looks the way that it does based on what you eat, not on like what you put on your skin. That is just my own personal opinion, what I have seen for myself. My skin gets completely wrecked when I eat really badly. And I'm actually gonna show you guys this. So if you guys can see, I, this is the worst my skin has ever been in my entire life. As a teenager, I used to be vegetarian, so I never consumed much animal products. I had beautiful skin. I've always had beautiful skin my entire life, up until these past couple months <laughs> in my 30s. <laughs> I got to experience the blessing of bad skin. It's actually been really nice having bad skin because it's really nice to experience something I've never experienced before. So I'm really enjoying it. This is actually, this is not a weight gain, weight loss, recovery thing. This is literally just like, I've been eating so much processed food. And that's that was a season for me. I kind of needed that. All of this, this is like McDonald's. You guys see that I go to McDonald's all the time. Love it. I'm here for it. You know, I, I honestly, I really respect the seasons in my life, even though sometimes they have negative consequences. But I think that that is how we should live life. I've always lived my life with this Zen principle that what we seek is on the other side of fear. So me constantly avoiding junk food for the rest of my life for fear of having bad skin, weight gain, like not really living my life. We need these hardships in life to make our life beautiful. It's like the black and the white. You know, you can't enjoy the good times if you didn't have bad times. So I've done my skin. I'm going to show you guys what I have for skincare. So currently I'm using garlic. I think I've mentioned in some of my other videos, I love drugstore skincare. I think it's a lot better, I'll be honest, than high-end. There's a period of time where I was buying like high-end skincare. I think I bought Jerlane and YSL. I think high-end skincare is really bad. Comment down below if that's an experience you guys have had. Like I'm not knocking it, maybe it's just I didn't try like the cream of the creme, but I think that drugstore, like more pharmaceutical type of skincare is a lot better. So anyway, so this is rose water and the two key ingredients in this, if I remember correctly, it's aloe and rose water. And I think those two perform very well on my skin. 
skin. I swear by aloe. I'm constantly putting aloe on my skin. And then the other thing that I put on is I put sunscreen on. I'm very religious about wearing sunscreen. Like I put it on my neck and I put it on my face every single day, whether I go for a run, if I go out, even just in the house, even if I don't leave the house. I don't know if this is true. Comment down below if it, if it is or if it isn't. Lights, the UV from that is also damaging. So I just like, you know, prevention is key. Anyway, yeah, these two products, that's actually the only skincare that I use. My nighttime routine includes the jojoba oil you guys have seen in so many videos for the past five years. Like literally nothing changes. Once I find something that I like and it works, I just, in my makeup rehab, learn to not do the holy grail bullshit. That's actually a good makeup rehab tip that I picked up was just to not seek holy grails. If you find something that really works for you, enjoy it, but not to get stuck in the toxic mentality of the holy grail seekage. Comment down below if that's something that ever happened to you guys, because that definitely happened to me and I had to like tell myself, stop, you don't need holy grails. If it works for you, just it's good. Don't fix what's not broke. Okay, so now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do very light foundation. For the longest time, I've mostly just used cushion and BB creams, but you've guys seen that like, I don't, I finished them, they're gone, I decluttered it, and I haven't gone back to Asia, and it's kind of hard to get a hold of them. I actually went to, uh, was it Miniso? Yeah, I think it was Miniso, or the other one that's in Toronto, I forgot, and I saw that they had Misha, so I might pick up one of those once I finish this, because I don't like to buy and not finish what I have. So yeah, currently I've been using a lot more foundation, unfortunately, even though I do prefer BB cream over foundation, I think it's just lighter coverage, which I prefer personally. So yeah, what I currently have is, um, I have the YSL cushion, which you guys have seen, and literally every thumbnail, and then, and I have these two. These are my two foundations. I've actually used up a lot. I don't know if you can see on camera. I'm about like here on the bottle, which is a lot because I've been working at this. I've not had any other product to like use. So project panning this has been really good. This is Lancome Tanti Doll Ultra Wear in the shade. This is in the Asian shade because I bought this in Asia for my birthday. So this is in the shade P003, which is like the second latest shade. Yeah, if you guys have seen, oh, well, you can see right now on camera. I'm, I'm quite pale for a Latino. So luckily for me, a lot of Asian cosmetics are insanely pale so i really like to buy those because they flatter my skin the best this is the bourgeois healthy mix i picked up a darker shade that's more of a natural shade what shade is this it's 51.5 i'm actually 51 or 50 so slightly darker than i would like it and now that it's summer so i'm actually trying to use this instead to like get some wear out of it uh you guys know that i really like french cosmetics i don't know what the french do with their cosmetics but it is oh yeah i just realized oh french i really really like french products the french they just get it like they know what's good with beauty beauty should be understated and simple classic and elegant and the french they just deliver on that anyway let me just get into actually doing my face i don't even really think that's what you guys are here for i think we're all here for the, like the little chit chat get ready with me so yeah mostly what i do is i just pretty much put it in my cheeks this routine is really because up until recently i've just kind of always had clear skin so i've never really had a need to like put it all over my face and i would just kind of put on my eyelids to help set like the powder and that's pretty much it i know that the majority of my acne is here where my lymph nodes are so i guess i'll put a little bit on it but as you guys have seen that i've mentioned in videos i don't really like covering up my acne i think acne of course if you have like medical grade acne you should definitely seek a professional i think some acne makes you look very youthful so i'll leave this acne that i have here showing because i think it gives you kind of like a very youthful vibe i know it's like weird to say but that's just genuinely truly what i think so i'm not really going to cover it up okay the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to do my eyebrows i'm using this little brush it's a milani brush it came with a little pot for like doing your brows sometimes when i need like a fierce brow when i'm like filming i use it but i don't know i'm going out later for brunch i don't want to be wearing stage makeup <laughs> at the diner i think that just doesn't look right and then once i put that in then i use products that i got sent by merit so these were the two pr packages that i got i think like what was it almost like two years ago and they ended up becoming my holy grails i hate that word but that's what they ended up becoming <laughs> no lies the first batch i think this is the first batch they did a phenomenal job they did a really good job i think i read somewhere merit is under sephora so that kind of makes sense why the products are pretty good they're not new to the industry like they know whoops wrong one they know what they've been doing the thing though what I, I don't really like about companies and i've noticed this because you know i've been wearing makeup for i guess like over 10 years i hate that they get the first batch is always really good and the price is good over the years the product just got progressive worse and the price got progressively higher and now you get to pay a lot for not something that's kind of embarrassing you know if i was a company and that's the product that i'm putting out i'd be embarrassed that that is what is representative of my company at this stage i'd be done i'd just curl my lashes and call it a day but uh <laughs> 
I think that's kind of lame. Yeah, one of my subscribers once asked me like if I could do a review on this and I was totally gonna do it and then I kind of got in a slump and then I didn't want to make videos anymore. So I never got around to it, but you guys can see how hard I've hit pan on these, especially on these two shades. This shade, I use it as like a base and it's really, really good. I highly recommend this thing. Um, usually goes on sale at Walmart for like two or two dollars, which is phenomenal. Can you believe it guys? And it's vegan, it's cruelty free. The pigmentation is insane. I'd say it's comparable to some of the higher end. It's as good as my Dior palette, if not even better guys. My Dior palette is $70 this thing <laughs> for oh, like a similar like color payout let me see if i can find my dior and show you guys so this is my dior and i'll show you guys i've also hit some pretty like whoops i've been pretty savage and i've hit some pretty major pans even in the other shades the buttery consistency between this dior palette which is 70 dollars and this two dollar elf palette i think they're the exact same i can't say that for all low like affordable prices i can't speak for them but definitely elf whatever they did with this particular series these bite size series they nailed it they're like actually like really good i ended up buying the rose water one as well this one is the cookies and cream really really good the rose water i bought a little bit before i discovered myself and realized that like i'm actually you know i feel i can feel pretty without makeup I haven't really touched it as you guys can see it's still pretty like i buy really soft muted colors that look really pretty in real life but they don't work very well as like makeup for like doesn't look good on camera so let's curl our lashes this ysl cushion is so good i love holding it it's like the right amount of space to like view your makeup if you're wondering what eyelash curler i have this is from 1028 it's a taiwanese brand Oh, I also use this lip oil. It's the NARS, I don't even know, Laguna lip oil. Is that what it is? It's the free sample from Sephora. I love the free samples. They're about the same amount of makeup I would have bought myself in the year. So I don't even have to buy myself makeup. Sephora gives it to me for free. I like that the color is like a brown, if you guys can see. But it goes on quite sheer. Yay! Okay, and there we have my simple everyday look. Obviously, this look takes me like, and, like if I take a long time, maybe five minutes. But obviously, for the sake of talking and chilling and having a good time, it took longer, but I really appreciate the subscriber request. You guys know that I take my subscriber request very seriously because honestly, this channel would be nothing without you guys. You guys are the blood of this channel. So thank you so much for all of your continued support throughout the years. Can you believe guys? We've been here for five years. That's crazy. You'd think I would have quit at some point point in time <laughs> but i'm still here all right so i have a lot of makeup rehab content if you guys would like to check it out i have a playlist in my thing check it out binge let's fix our relationship with makeup let's feel beautiful without makeup and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye